Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. I thank you so so much for being here today. Today we are going to have a wonderful time together. Hi, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. I hope all of you are doing awesome today. So, I am going to be uh, do a flower and this flower is going to uh, made out of two different stitches so I'm going to do lazy daisy stitch for the leaves and in the center I'm going to create a rose out of cast on stitch and this flower is going to have four leaves and you can choose to make two or three or four as up to you I'm just making four now you can do this out of um, thread or you can do out of yarns up to you and on the middle on the center when I'm doing the cast on stitch the cast on stitch you can do with one thick needle or you can insert two thick needle now be aware of that when you do insert two thick needles um, if it's a t-shirt you will see little holes so through my stitch I'm going to cover that holes but uh, be sure your t-shirt is a little bit thick if it's too thin then it, there are more chances of having bigger holes or being teared off things like that so I'm just doing it on one side just the side of it on the shoulder you can do left or right and you can come down and do three flowers which I may end up doing but right now I'm just going to do only one flower just to show you later I might choose to add two more flowers so as you know lazy daisy stitch is very easy uh, what you need to do just go from uh, underneath uh, the shirt where you're doing your stitch have your frame and everything ready you, I draw it from my imagination you can draw it from there are many references online or you can draw it from imagination it's just a circle in the middle and all around just four leaves and you can choose to do half leaf or the full leaf I have given here full leaves so then as you go from the bottom and just make like a hoop and in this hoop again you come out from all the way at the top and just go underneath again just to create a loop so it will hold the hoop that sounds funny but that's what it is um, but it's very easy so before I went down to create a hoop to hold the loop I put a bead in there so this is embroidery it's a little bit beady just to give it a different touch I always like to do things a little differently and give a different touch and like to use as much as beads, frequent pearl, things like that nature in my embroidery I don't know I feel like it kind of um, brightens up the things or I might be just too attracted to beads pearls and sequins shiny things anyway so that's what I did for the leaves so lazy daisy stitch with the bead on top and uh, you may choose to be put two beads inside too I will try to show you next time and then I did the cast on stitch with um, two needles and one needle as well so if you do with one needle it will be very thin 
and it will sort of lay down flat but if you do the cast on stitch with two needles then it will sort of stand up because as its length is increasing there's so more chances of standing up as the length is decreasing and uh, more chances of just laying flat so you decide you might even choose to do it with three needles now after you put two needles you make sort of like a chain or hoops on your needles just the way we do it while uh, we knit so you can use the knitting needle as well but they are sort of very thick so I'm going to suggest you this this regular thick embroidery needle will be great so that's in the middle just a cast on stitch and then also after you finish the stitch you can add some more beads if you want to jazz it up and so well, that's what it is now so it's very basic and simple nothing to teach but you could just look and learn and embroidery is something that more you do it more you learn it's all about practice and another thing is just don't um, stick to the traditional um, tutorials because there are no rules you can just go wild add anything you want and make it any way you want because uh, you're making it for yourself so you know uh, you can decide what you want to put in fact the whole um, fashion industry is like that you just make your own be bold to make any kind of fashion you wish it's just a statement and fashion is a statement and you, know, you make that statement whatever you want to make it so embroidery is around for thousands of years you know it's a craft to decorate your fabric or decorate any other materials and things and it's been used for thousands of years it started um, in China and India as well now if you if ever all this craziness goes away and you have a chance to go visit India then you will see they have this amazing amazing embroidered everything embroidered bread seed embroidered the most beautiful embroidered clothes that you could ever find the saris the dresses the handkerchief the hats the gloves you name it and they embroidered on it anything everything the pillowcases the sofa covers the chair covers everything the most beautiful hand embroidery and now the machine embroidery coming up so years ago people have done the most beautiful hand embroidery but one thing that many people haven't realized yet but, or maybe did not pay enough attention mm. the embroidery is the biggest biggest the biggest meditation of all because when you do a flower or they did back in the days big big saris all hand embroidered and when you do it it takes a lot of concentration and you naturally focus on it and you forget actually everything while you're making that so it is the best form of meditation mm, equally i would say equally uh, as gardening because when you're doing gardening that's also a great form of meditation because if you notice that when you're doing embroidery or when you're doing gardening you sort of get lost in it and you forget uh, your surrounding which does not happen with anything else uh, that you do so these two activities are great 
meditation and if you incorporate this daily in your routine you will see significant changes in your health and behavior mental status and happiness and calmness you will see that especially if you incorporate with the embroidery the bead sequin pearl because putting these takes a lot of concentration focus and it sort of turns you to a calmer person so uh, yeah the embroidery has been around for thousands of years and they see a lot of embroidered beautiful clothes and things in india as well as china and both the countries have um, embroidery sort of uh, uh, embedded to their culture and uh, uh, religion idols that they worship so they embroider actually those things into their clothes and then it involves nature too they will do a lot of flowers and things like that and doing embroidery there are a lot of stitches came all different kinds of stitches so initially there was just a buttonhole stitch and then the back stitch and, and then the satin stitch and then the um, the comforters uh, they made they put just regular stitches so basically basic stitch and then as people invented there are many 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 different stitches came so you can do embroidery in your clothes and enjoy the time while you're doing also you create something so this is today's and i did this uh, lazy daisy stitch and custom stitch and this t-shirt so you can do it on t-shirt or hat or gloves or any other handkerchief any other things you wish to and just daily make a embroidery ritual that will be almost like a meditation hi thank you so so much for being here today i hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like subscribe comment and share this video thank you may god bless you all